Hey guys. Um, so I want to do a quick video uh, today. I did something a little different. Um, went to a show today uh, here locally, of course. Um, it was uh, what we call Scale Fest. It's uh, put on by a local IPMS chapter. Uh, it's held in Grapevine, Texas. And uh, I got a nice little <laughs> array of kits that I picked up today. Um, didn't have a lot of money to spend a little bit, but I got some really nice deals I'm going to show it to you. Uh, but it was a fun show. I was there a couple of hours. Of course, I don't really know anybody. I don't belong to any local clubs. Maybe I should. I don't know. But um, it was a lot of fun. And uh, a lot of vendors there. There weren't that many models in the show. I was a little surprised. But uh, I enjoyed myself. I wish I could add more money. I could have easily spent three or four hundred dollars. There were some just crazy bargains on kits. But let me show you what I got. So this is in no certain order. Uh, I bought this 148 scale um, Dornier 335 Arrow. This is the heavily armed version. Now this kit is kind of rare now. They're discontinued from Tamiya. And uh, I, I looked at the kit. It's complete. They had removed the sprues from the bags, but it was all intact and there was no damaged parts. But now these kits go for about $45, and I paid whopping 15, 15 bucks for this kit, cash. So I'm, I was pretty stoked there. And then on top of that, I got another one. I got the 335. Uh, Anteater, this is the training variant. Uh, Freddie uh, Duarte did a build of this not that long ago for Aaron Newland's uh, trainer group build. And this is another one of those kits. Now this one's complete. All the sprues are still in the bags. Uh, I paid $15 for this kit. That's amazing. So there's that. Now this was a steal. Now I've done a review of this kit. Uh, so this is the second one I bought. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this kit yet, but uh, I couldn't pass it up because this is this is a $50 kit. It's the 148 scale Tamiya uh, Heinkel 219 Uhu, and uh, still new in the plastic. Uh, guys, I paid $16 for this, 16 bucks if you can believe that. And a guy had 32 marked on it, and I said, you know what? I'm low on funds. Would you go half? And he said, done, sold. So I gave him the 16 bucks. So 16 bucks for that. And, all right, so now for the armor lovers, here we go. This, uh, I always thought this vehicle was pretty cool. So this is the 35th scale Dragon Bison. It's a self-propelled gun. It's got the Schwerer Infanterie Geschütz 15 centimeter, you know, field gun or howitzer on it. Uh, a lot of cool looking photo etch, built on a Panzer II chassis. And uh, this is still also in the plastic. It's a smart kit, $20. Paid 20 bucks for this kit for my guy. And, no, I did. I did. I'm, I lied. I saved these for last because this was the. I think for me, the deal of the show. So I've got a few paper Panzers. I did a review of a Noctiager E100 not that long ago, and uh, it was. It's a cool kit. So I got this guy, Strumpeter E100, Jagdpanzer E100. I think Panzermeister, uh, buddy. If you, uh, I think you bought one of these here, not not that recently. All the sprues are intact in this, all still in the original sealed bags. This thing has only been open to inspect the content. So I got this kit, okay, which by the way is a big kit. And then I got this monster. I got these from the same guy. Another 135th scale trumpeter, who shoots Wagen Tiger for 17 centimeter canona. So it's basically a 17 centimeter self-propelled gun. It's a howitzer. It's not an anti-tank gun. Built on the um, Tiger II chassis. It's gigantic. It's got some photo which with this thing. is huge. But both of these kits, these two paper Panzers, um, I got from the same guy. It's not a dealer. Somebody just selling on down their stash. 40 US dollars. So I spent 40, 60, 76, I don't know, $115, $112, give or take, and I got six kits. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I did, and uh, I looked for some deals for Carlos, and he didn't guess I didn't really see anything that he wanted, but I uh, just kind of wanted to show uh, what I got today. I had some great deals. It was a lot of fun. Um, Squadron's having an open house, a big distributor. Some of you guys are familiar with the big U.S. distributor. They call it Eagle Quest uh, here in a few weeks. 
uh, but you have to pay $50 to get into the event. They give you some food for it. Um, I guess there's going to be some type of a modeling sh show, but the big thing is that you get inside their warehouse and you can buy anything in their warehouse at a 40% discount. And I haven't decided if I'm going to go to that or not because uh, you got to spend an awful lot of money on hobby stuff to make back the $50 in savings because Squadron's prices are kind of high, especially for us that live in Texas because, uh, you know, obviously I have to pay uh, sales tax and shipping if I buy it because so Squadron's only about... Uh, 30 miles from me, so they're not that far. Anyways, what's gonna follow? Uh, I'm gonna show a slideshow, the photographs of the models that I did, um, of the photographs of, of the models that were there. I didn't take pictures of everything. Things I thought that were particularly interesting. And they're not necessarily in any certain order, and I apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys later.